We are back with the second part of the Europa League knockouts today. We beat Barcelona 4-2 at Camp Nou. Can we do it now in the second leg? As we take on Barcelona here at the city ground. Let's get to it. Hello and welcome back to another episode of Forever Forest. I hope you are doing well. If you're enjoying this series so far and you haven't already, I don't know why you haven't already by now, but hit that subscribe button down below and of course give the video a thumbs up. We are back today, Forever Forest, and we have Barcelona in the second leg of the Europa League knockouts. We beat them 4-2 last time. It was a really tight game for us in the end, I thought. They narrowly brought it back late on, but them early goals did the job for us. We did give away those late goals at Pjanic, that penalty. That one from Patrick Berg in the 92nd minute. It could have been 4-0 away from home. But we gave away those two sloppy goals late on. Which now makes it a bit of a tighter affair here at the City Ground today. As we're trying to defend this lead. I mean, hopefully we can just beat them again. Get through. Job done. Into the next stage of Europa League. I mean, at the moment, it's one way we can get to the Champions League. But there is another way right now. Because after we beat Arsenal 3-1 following that Barcelona game. We now sit second in the Premier League. Second in the Premier League, Nottingham Forest. So we could get Champions League football regardless of the season. I thought it was out of sight for a while there, but we're looking good now. 62 points. It's still, it's still very tight at the moment. Liverpool, they've run away with Liverpool are league champions by this point now. Job done. But second in the Prem, Man City leads Chelsea. Not a million miles away, really. Arsenal, Man U, a little bit further away now, 52 and 50 points. But right now, we're looking good for a Champions League spot for next season. We got into the Europa League last season. This season, that next step up now in the Champions League, and we're going towards the aim of this save of winning the Champions League with Nottingham Forest. So, we're doing the right stuff. But yeah, we mentioned we had one game in between the Barcelona legs. We played Arsenal in a 3 1 victory. Oh, got one goal for them, but it was not enough. The early goals from Lorenzo Luca and Renier in that first half, Brennan Johnson making it free for us, was enough to get the job done. We beat Arsenal at the Emirates. To be fair, they had their chances. They had their chances. They had a lot of possession. But they couldn't get the job done. And we take away all three points. And as we mentioned now, sit second in the Premier League. But today we come back as we take on Barcelona. I mean, it was a tight game last time, as we mentioned. They brought it back very late on. But yeah, we're back now. Barcelona. We're probably a better team for the majority of that game. Late on, though, conceding those two goals. I felt we were very hard done by. But now we come back today to see if we can qualify for the next round of the Europa League. So let's have a look at the team and get into today's game. So this is how we're going to line up for the game. It's Barcelona in the second leg. There's entire legs up there from the Arsenal game. We're hoping they can get through this last game to get us through into the next round of the knockouts of the Europa League. Liverpool starts to net with Bogle, Warrell, Zagadou and Katavak at the back line. Ricky the Piggy joined by Jadon Samet. It always makes me laugh, that name. It always makes me laugh. Jadon Samet, Ricky in the middle. Eze at the shadow striker. Logan Renier, a bit of a break. He's, got, he's a bit tired, so I'm not going to let him start this one. I mean, Ejeda is not fully fit as well, so... That switch is most likely going to happen at half time, but we'll set it goes to that first half with Alvarez and Lorenzo Luca, our main boys up front, leading the line. Let's get into today's game and take on Barcelona and see can we get through to the next round of the Europa League. So then here we go. We can see our team lined up now. We've hit a bit of form recently, but those last three victories, of course, one was against Barcelona already. You can see the score now at the top of the screen there. 4 2 aggregate lead for us as Barca come in with this 4 3 3. Griezmann, Fatty, and Memphis to up front. It's, it's a very good front line from Barcelona. It's, it's a very good team in general from Barcelona. Frankie de Jong in there. Of course, they've brought in Samuel Ricky, who was a bit of a problem last time out as well for us. But Garcia and Arruja at the back, Allen and Kyle Walker. I mean, it's breakable. We can break that, that defence, definitely, I reckon, and get something from this game today. I mean, we already lead 4-2 at this point, so holding on would be enough right now, realistically. But we nice to get another victory at home as well, in front of the home fans. As Luca flicks it on, Eze. Julian Alvarez is thrown goal and Alvarez has put us ahead of 20 minutes here. We already lead East 20 for the season. Nottingham Forest 1, Barcelona 0. We're at home. It is now 5 2 in aggregate. All comes here from Livakovic with the free kick here. Big build of field. As we've been doing all season, Luca with the flick on. SI first time touch into Julian Alvarez, who dings it over to Stegen to put it 1 0. Nottingham Forest. Surely this is it then. Surely we're going all the way now into the next round of the Europa League. I mean, it's going to take a lot of goals for Barcelona to come back in this game, but I suppose we scored a lot in that first leg as Memphis puts it just over the bar, narrowly over the bar there for Barcelona. We need to be careful here. We do need to be careful. I mean, 
Is Barcelona, the one of the better teams in the Europa League this year, they can quite easily get goals. That's a great chance there. It's Memphis. Ansu Fati Griezmann. Oh, my days. What a chance. Now it's wide. We were just about getting away with that one there. I mean, good first start so far. Half hour in. Javi Gallon. Big ball in. Well, out by Worrell. Ansu Fati gets the ball now. Ricky, De Jong, Carujo, Griezmann now on the turn. Well won by Bogle. Now the boys can come out of the fence and play the outfield. Ricky the Pig, former Barcelona boy, of course, as well, against his former club. Nice to see him get a victory against his former boys. As Samir gives away the ball very easily there. Fatty, Ricky. As he does win it back, but loses straight away to Frankie de Jong. Andrew Fatty now on this right-hand side. Oh, well in Samir. Beautiful interception by Samir. Again, he's lost the ball again, though. Samir just doesn't seem like he's fully there today. She's a bit of a worry. He's Ricky, Pedri, Fatty. Some gorgeous play here. As Pedri's thrown goal and Livakovic. Never in doubt with Livakovic in there. He's been an absolute great acquisition this season. He hasn't even put a foot wrong at all this season, Livakovic. I mean, we had problems with Samba in the past, like, like the last two seasons, but Livakovic has been nothing but solid. It's Pedri, finally Griezmann, De Jong. Pedri cuts inside now and narrowly wide there. Livakovic didn't dive for it, but he seemed confident he was going wide. So we'll, we'll take it, we'll take him, we'll take him and agree there. Yep, you know what you're doing. You're going to half time here. A 1 0 lead, 5 2 in aggregate. I'm comfortable. We're happy with this. Um, what a 45 minutes that was. Just blowing them away. I mean, we scored a goal with the nothing set up since then, really, have we? So, I won't say blown them away probably so much, really. When we get Samir off, though, he's looked a bit iffy today. So, if I've mentioned Renier in for him now. Cat a bit tired as well. So, we need to get wrenching for him. I mean, the other one, I want to get Ajada, really. He was a bit unsure about his fitness earlier on today. But, he seems okay so far. I mean, the option's there. You can always bring Angelo on later on if need be. We've got Brozier and Giroud, we've got two strikers. We can always try and drop one of those into midfield, possibly. We didn't have a lot of options to sit in midfield today, which is a bit of a problem, maybe, but we'll see how things go. We'll see how things go. There's a few, like, ips and others about who can be available today, and, of course, sitting midfield is still one position that I do want to improve on long-term, so we'll see how we go today. I mean, long-term-wise, we could probably put someone out. Alvarez could have had a striker, maybe, today, because he's a bit tired, maybe, but we'll see how things go. I mean, we've got up to almost 70 minutes here. I'm going to praise the boys quickly and just say, you're doing the right stuff. We're almost there now. I mean, Barcelona need quite a few goals here to get back into this game. It doesn't look like it's going to happen, honestly. It does not look like it's going to happen. There's a highlight here. We'll play it through first. We'll do the changes afterwards. I'm just thinking, we'll get Giroud on up front now, get his legs up there. Maybe another change, maybe. Who knows? As Busquets now. Big switch. Finds Ferran Torres. Switches it across again now to Kyle Walker. There's options there. There's Pedro's the ball. Back into Walker. You'd imagine it's going to come from this, surely. But stick Ferran Torres across goal and oh, Zaka do with a big clearance there. Did he find Lorenzo Luca? And is there a counter on the go? No, we've lost the ball again. We've lost the ball. It's Griezmann on oh, Joe Worrell. What an absolute champion of a challenge there to stop Griezmann getting the shot off. 10 minutes to go. We'll do those changes now quickly. I mean, we've mentioned already, rennie has got a bit of a knock already. So he's not, I mean, everyone's knackered. Everyone's absolutely knackered. But one change. We're going to give Broja the chance. We're going to give it to him. He's not had much of a like, chance this season. We're trying to shed a striker, though, oddly enough. Not his normal, natural position, but, I mean, he's got enough about him to do the job there. So he can come on for Eze now. We can rest Eze for the rest of this match. And hopefully, we don't end up regretting this move because there's some tired legs further back in the pitch and we're trying to defend the lead here. So we'll see how it goes. There's Bogan now. He finds Julian Alvarez. A Jada. Head out. Oh, Renier has popped up at the bat stick. And surely that is job done now. He's 2-0 to Nottingham Forest here at the city ground. 6-2 in aggregate. It, it's surely over. It's surely over, right? Renier, the smallest man on the pitch possibly here, at the back stick, heads it home to make it Nottingham Forest 2, Barcelona 0. You'd think it's going to be job done. There's no way Barcelona going to get six goals, let's face it. Six, four goals, I should say, actually. Four goals. It's going to take an absolute miracle for that. So you'd imagine it's job done, surely. It's fatty as the ball now. Plays inside. Pedri. Barca getting bodies forward here, trying to get a goal out of this, but you'd think it's all over from surely. It's Walker now on this right hand side. Big ball to the box. Can't find Griezmann. He chases the ball now onto that left hand side. Finds Javi Gallon. I mean, I suppose there's, there's like six, seven minutes maybe in this. Just stoppages. There, there could be a few goals in this still. Who knows? It's Walker's the ball now. Finds Antu Fati. Edge of the box there. They need to be watching that edge of the box there. Big ball in from Walker. Torres. Oh, Patrick Berg went for it. It was well defended there by Zagadu. And it looks like we're going to get away with this one here. I mean, it's been a bit more of a tighter game. But it is over. And Nottingham Forest, 6-2 in aggregate against Barcelona. We are going through to the quarterfinals of the Europa League.
So a massive victory there for Nottingham Forest as we carry on within the Europa League now. Next time out, might be some more Europa League action or maybe some Premier League action. Who knows? We're going to get through now and see what happens very, very soon. But for now, thank you for watching. If you enjoyed this episode, of course, make sure you subscribe to the channel and make sure you like this video. Who do you think we can play in the next round of Europa League? Let me know in the comment section who you'd want to see us play. I mean, I'm hoping a bit of an, e bit of an easier team, but I mean, we beat Barca 6 2. So who knows? Who knows? But thanks for watching as always. We'll see you next time.